hello everyone welcome to the next lecture on the laplace transformation today we will see how we can solve the differential equation with the help of laplace transformation myself dr gar working in the school of mathematics thapar institute so we will see uh, how we can solve the initial value bound initial value differential equation of like this way with the conditions are here you can easily solve this problem with the help of the differential equation by using the complementary functions and the particular integral but in the differential equations part you have to solve this and this as a separately so it will take a lot of the time so in order to solve them in much easier manner we will see the laplace transformation as we discussed in our previous lecture there is a type 1 this was my previous lecture which is available at my youtube channel here you can see whenever the coefficients are my constant this is 1 minus 2 they are my constant however in this lecture we will see whenever the coefficients of this like here this is not a constant that is a multiplication with the independent variable how we can solve this we will see in this in this presentation we will solve the three different kind of the examples are there and in each of the example the method and the technique which we will follow all are similar let's say this one you can see that this is the first is the multiplication of the t so that's why this is not a constant here these are the two initial conditions are given to you how you can solve that that's a very simple what you can do is you can simply take the laplace transformation of the both side now always remember whenever there is a multiplication of the t we have read them in the laplace transformation of here if you compare them what is the value of the n n is my one so it means laplace transformation of this what is the laplace transformation of the derivative is minus 1 d by ds of y double dash what is the meaning of that the rule of this small d is nothing but my here that is if it is n then it is a minus 1 raised to power n nth derivative of laplace of the remaining part on the other hand we will see how you can use the laplace of the because if now it's a laplace of the y double dash we can use like here how you remember that if it is a second derivative then it's a s square then s then of the nothing is there. L of y, Laplace of the y, y zero, y dash, and so on. Now you can substitute the value here. Now this becomes d by dx of the here. I can use them. I can open them here and so on. I can right click this. I can substitute the values by using here. Again, you can see this is the Laplace of the t. So I can use again. This is nothing but my minus d by ds. So minus and minus becomes a plus p. So I can firstly write this value as of this. This is minus minus plus of this, and here. Now we can substitute the value. What is the y of zero? I can substitute here. Y dash zero is not given to you. So if anything is not given to you, then we can consider this as of the constants. If y of zero is also not given to you, then we can again consider as a c one. So I can take y of zero is this one. So I can substitute the value here. This, 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 and so on. We can get here. now because y of 0 is 0 so it's my c now you have to take the first time derivative of this what is that this is 2s laplace of the y minus plus s square derivative of laplace y that is the derivative of this part now you can see like so i can write the derivative as l dash similarly i can use the derivatives this this is as such and so on now i can take the pairs of the ly i can take the pair of the l dash and we can write like here so i can find i can divide it this by s minus s square on both side you will get this expression which is easily see that this is a linear differential equation of this form one this is of this form dy by dx that is of here if the solution is given by this one so in this case what is the p is 4 by s what is the q is my 1 by s cube what is the y is l of y so i can take them as here e raised to power pdx of this what is the integration of this so all of you know that what is the integration of this this is a 4 log of s so i can write this as log of s raised to power 4 that is s of 4 so i can write this as s of 4 now it can be cancel out so integration of the s is my s square by 2 and this is divided so i can write this part as 1 by s square plus c1 upon s4 can you find the value of the y from here that is nothing but laplace inverse of 
वन बाय एस स्केयर सी वन इज कॉन्स्टेंट लैपलेस इनवर्स ऑफ वन बाय एस फोर वट इज द लैपलेस इनवर्स ऑफ द वन बाय एस स्केयर इज नथिंग बट द माई टी वट इज द लैपलेस ऑफ द वन बाय एस फोर यू कैन मल्टीप्लाई एंड डिवाइड बाय गामा फंक्शन ऑफ फोर बिकॉज ऑल ऑफ यू नो दैट गामा फंक्शन ऑफ द एन प्लस वन अपॉन टी रेज टू पावर एन प्लस वन एस रेज टू पावर एन प्लस वन इज नथिंग बट टी रेज टू पावर एन सो आई कैन मल्टीप्लाई एंड डिवाइड बाय गामा फंक्शन ऑफ फोर गामा फंक्शन ऑफ फोर इज नथिंग बट माई थ्री फैक्टोरियल दैट्स ए सिक्स एंड सॉन टू सो दैट इज द रिक्वायर्ड नाउ देर इज अ अनोन ऑफ दी सी वन सिंस सी वन इज अनोन टू यू सो वी कैन यूज दिस इनिशियल कंडीशन यू कैन सी दिस दिस वैल्यू इज गिवन टू यू वाई ऑफ टू इज नाइन सो आई कैन यूज दिस वैल्यू टू कंप्यूट द वैल्यू ऑफ दिस सी वन सो आई कैन सब्सटीट्यूट द वैल्यू ऑफ वाई टू हेयर दिस इज नाइन दिस इज माई टू अपॉन टू C1 upon 6 of 2 raised to power 3. So you can easily find the value of the C1 from here. You can get as 6. So I can substitute the value of 6 here. You will get the right answer. Look at the another one. Again, you can see there is a multiplication of the t. So we can again take the Laplace transformation on the both side. This I can use as directly of this. There is a derivative, so I can take as n is 1. So it is minus d by ds of L y dash minus four L. What is the Laplace of the one is one by s. So I can use this value as of here. You can substitute. Now substitute the uh, y of zero is zero. Y dash in this case it is also given. This is zero and so on. So you you will get here. You can take the derivative of this again. There is a product rule. I can write like this and this term I can written like this way. This is the product rule I have written. Now you can pair them. You can see this value and this value can be combined, and I can return like here. You can take the coefficient of the l dash y as a one, so you can divide it by. Again, you can see this is of the linear differential equation. In this case, p is my six minus s square upon two s. Q is my right hand side, and again we can solve this as of here. So we can solve this differential equation by using solution. What is the integration of six minus s square upon two s? So I can take as a separate. This is three s minus s by two of d s. What is the integration of this? This is nothing but my three by two s square. What is that? This is s square by four. So I can take this value as of this value. Sorry, this is three by s. So what is that? Three by s is my three log s. This is s by two is s square by four. So three log s minus s square by four is there. I can take as a separate three log s minus of the s square. What is that? This is nothing but my s cube. So I can return as s cube of this. Now you can see this will be cancel out. So this part will be my s by two of this. How you can solve them? If I take s square by four as say of the x. What is the derivative of this? That is a 2s upon 4 ds is my dx. That is s by 2 of ds is my dx. So what is the integration of this? Minus s by 2. So it will be my minus dx of e raised to power minus of x r here. So what is the integration of this part? This is e raised to power minus x. So x is my here. So what is the integration of this part? Is e raised to power minus S square by four is the integration of this part. Now you can take, you can calculate the L of y. You can calculate here. Now how you can find the y? That is L inverse of this. C one is constant. L inverse of this. Now since this is a non-linear here, you are unable to find the value of L inverse. Then how you can find the value of this? You can see nothing is given to you as for finding the L of y, but You all knows that the Laplace properties. Whenever s approaches infinity, whatever the Laplace of here, whatever the Laplace of this, it will goes to the finite value. That is the property we all knows that. That is whenever s of this l of y will goes to the zero. So you can see if s approaches infinity, this value goes to the zero. This value will goes to the zero only when c one is zero. So it means c one is a Zero value, so I can substitute C one here. We can get the L of y. So from here, can you find the Laplace inverse? 
again how you find the laplace inverse of the s cube again you have to divide by gamma 3 and multiply by gamma 3 what is that this part is nothing but t raised to power square is the required answer look at the last example again this is the multiply by t so again we have to use these same conditions this is the derivative rule this is simple here again there is a multiply so again this is a derivative rule r i can use the l y double dash the value from here this one so since y of 0 is given to you y dash 0 is also given to you and so on so after solving this you can write like here now you can take the derivatives we will get this expression and pair them here you can make the coefficient of the l dash y as a 1 you can divide them again this is a linear differential equation where p is my here q is my 0 so i can take this solution as of y q times of this is my 0 so what is that what is the integration of this part i can multiply and divide it by 2 so it will be log of s square plus 1 how you can write that this is nothing but my s square plus of 1 can you find the value of the ly from here this is, you can easily find now you can find the value of y that is a laplace inverse how you can find the laplace inverse all of you know that this is nothing but my j0 j is nothing but the bessel function of the first kind of order 0 now there is an unknown of the c1 how you can find the unknown value you can take either of the y0 or you can take as a y dash of 0 since it is a difficult to take the derivative of this so that's why i can take as a y of 0 what is the y of 0 is c1 j of 0 of this this is the bessel function uh, you should remember that the bessel function at the point 0 is always be a 1 so can you find the value of the c1 from here c1 is nothing but my 2 so you can substitute the value here that is the required answer of this problem this is the way you can solve this differential equation with the help of the Laplace transform. You can find some other videos related to my Laplace transformations, shifting theorem, multiplication, division, inverse, all are available in the playlist Mathematics 2 channel name Dr. Harishkar. Unit step function convolution and many more are there. Till then you can simply subscribe the channel, share this video with your friends. Best of luck students. Happy learning.